Hello and welcome to my channel. I don't know how much of that previously recorded. Um, it may have turned off because it's being a deal. Let me see if I can get lighting a bit, a little bit better. Oh dear. Right, I've just opened number five of my Forbidden Fibre. This is for Parcel Tongue. Parcel Tongue is the language of serpents. Nearly all known parcel mads descend from Salazar Slytherin. Harry's ability to speak parcel tongue passed to him from Voldemort caused hysteria when students thought he was the heir of Slytherin, who would unleash the beast on Hogwarts. It was parcel tongue, though, that led him to open the Chamber of Secrets and defeat the Basilisk. And now, this is a green colourway. There you go. I know it's not in focus, but it gives you an idea of the colour. There's a little bit of a paler bit. So I think we've got... We've got the black and grey, which was the Moaning Myrtle. We've got the yellow, I think, which was Gilderoy Lockhart. Uh, I think we've got blues as well, and now we've got green. And when I realised, this is the point I was at when I realised that my um, camera had stopped recording because it's being a bit of a deal. Um, hang on, I'm just going to play with it. Um, it's it is really being a deal. Ooh, look at that. Brightness. Um, anyway, um, yeah, hubby refused to let me go in the car today. Oh, God, that's terrible. Right, sorry. Okay, hubby refused to let me go in the car today, citing that I shouldn't be in the car to go to the shops or driving or anything else, which was really rude of him. And um, so he ended up going to the craft store instead for me and he bought me the floss that I needed for the Dark Queen of the Sea and um, he got me knitting needles and he called into work and he got a book that somebody had put through in the mail for me. He's really good um, like that although he is um, lecturing the kid in the background so you may hear him getting louder. I apologise. She needs to be lectured every now and then because she gets brainwashed anyway so um haven't really done all that much um i'm not even sure what i did this morning i got up late and fed the pets um i looked at my mocha at my beagle and kind of thought how old he seems to be looking these days he's getting gray under his eyes i think i need to maybe take him for a walk up the cul-de-sac or something tomorrow the thing that terrifies me about the beagle being loose is that he follows his nose and when he follows his nose um, he doesn't listen with his ears and he doesn't listen when I call him so it's like ah and he could run off and then play in the bush and then come back an hour later having chased wallabies all over the hill and everything else so I don't know that I want to take him and I can't take him sorry sweat I can't take him um, pulling me with the leash or anything like that even though I know how to hold the leash with two hands so that there's no tension and all that kind of jargon. So I'll see how I go, but he could do with a treat, um, you know, and a, a bit of love. Um, yesterday when Marcus took the girls to the beach and I went out and fed them, I was so tempted to bring him into the house. But he's an outside dog. He's stinky. And, you know, he doesn't come in most of the time anyway. So it would have been a bit, you know betrayal maybe of hubby to um, bring him in which is not what Marcus would think I don't necessarily but because he hasn't come in much he's not familiar with the house and he'd be all over the place just sniffing and just being a dog really um it was funny actually yesterday Sophie um Sophie wants ice cream at the end of her dinner <laughs> she went and ran and got me one and I was in no fit shape last night to eat an ice cream but she unwrapped the whole blunder thing for me and everything so I had to eat the ice cream such a hardship um I'm going to move the camera so that yeah try and keep the lighting fairly steady um so yeah it didn't really do much um I think my meds are kind of playing up with me physically physiologically um, took my meds this morning and was feeling a bit weird a couple of hours later 
same I think yesterday and same then this afternoon to the point where I was ringing the triage nurse at the emergency department to say hey look you know got this going on is it something I need to be especially worried about when I'm there's so many other things that could explain what I was feeling um but in the end I went as far as um checking blood sugar levels checking heart rate and then going down to the chemist and checking blood pressure which blood pressure is up so the plan before Christmas when I spoke to my GP and he had previously put me on cholesterol and blood pressure medication um, the plan was to speak to him on the phone in the first week of January I'm actually going to go and see him face to face and I'll make that appointment tomorrow before they have the new year break and um, I'll get blood pressure checked because my blood pressure is higher than it should be and I think I need to get bloods done before I see him I think I've got the paperwork for that so I can get all of that organized and um, yeah well we'll see where we go from there um, because the kind of symptoms I was having if you want the too much information kind of thing was in my mind possible heart attack symptoms you know pain in shoulder and the sweating and the queasy and all of that kind of thing and if the pain in the shoulder could be explained by me gripping my fabric because I've been stitching today the sweating could be explained by perimenopause the and everything else could be explained just by me taking my meds so don't go panicking please um, I am getting things checked uh, but you know there's kind of two heads kind of going it could be medication or the other head kind of going but it could be something else so hubby's kind of watching me like a hawk now and asking how I'm doing I went out and I at dinner out in the lounge again tonight so got to the point where sitting upright was hurting and it was like okay I'm calling it quits so I left and um, started you know the whole Roman reclining in bed unfortunately Sophie hasn't continued eating so she hasn't finished her dinner um yeah but that's yeah the downside of that one um Tomorrow, uh, the shopping arrives. I'm not going to be helping with that unless it's to maybe stand and tick off some items. Um, yeah, so um, there's no plans. I think the weather is supposed to be starting to close in. It was supposed to be getting cloudy from today. Um, I don't know. It may or may not stay cloudy. I think tomorrow it was supposed to be cloudy or showers and then Friday was supposed to be nice again we'll wait and see it's a shame that I can't go and sit on the deck um sorry sweaty sweaty eyes that's not nice um Marcus and I have got plans for making a coffee table for outdoors um that would be I think we were kind of roughly talking measurements going like one and a half meters by two and a half meters and it being a concrete top with epoxy topping and putting personal items into the epoxy which could be all kinds of cool and making the table our own so it could be I don't know fossil chips or sand and he's now talking about making it look like it's a wave and spilling coloured epoxy through it and stuff I said oh we're gonna have to watch Fee's video of her making her craft table because Fee you did this um with your craft table making it kind of like a beach scene so I don't know we'll see what happens um but it could be a bit of fun kind of embedding we've kind of talked about embedding our wedding ribbon into it um inscribing in the concrete our names you know stupid little kitschy stuff like that but it'll weigh a ton it'll be outside and hopefully the wind will not be able to blow it very far and um yeah that'll be all kinds of cool so we can dream I've got until mid-February but I kind of said to him we're going to need a solid week of good weather 
for the epoxy to be able to go off in so we need to kind of have everything else kind of done and then wait for the one week of weather so we need to kind of get it done before the end of summer but concrete costs next to nothing to buy a table in the hardware store is already you know fifteen hundred dollars just for the table so you know it'll be a bit of fun if it doesn't work it doesn't work but god knows what we do with it and if it doesn't work but yeah it, yeah it'd be all right he's got plans now for the bookshelves that he wants to get done and as i'm a bit more able i'll be able to potter around and help him out and just be there for moral support as much as anything so yeah the the we're getting there you know with kind of okay what next kind of thing um I found out today I I'm gonna have to go through my floss stash I may actually have this floss but I don't see it in my introduction bit that I've got at the moment but I'm out of it now the skein of floss that was kicking me because I was so tempted to send him the message when he was at the craft store and I didn't um so we're gonna have to go back and get that skein of floss um, it was funny because I'd put down the note for me and he's kind of going but what is 561 dmc and i said it's floss and he goes i know what floss is and it's just like oh you and your bloody mother you know being a crafty son he knows these things so he's filling in the details and he's kind of going what's four millimeter 24 whatever it was four mil 60 centimeters and I go, circular or something. And I go, it's a knitting needle. And he's kind of going, but why didn't you say it's a knitting needle? Because I, like, I was meant to be going with you. Um. So, yeah, he filled in all the gaps. And I was hoping that I might be able to get a miniature house, like a miniature greenhouse or store. They had been $60 when I went in before Christmas, well, ages before Christmas, but they'd been $60 and there was a whole kind of thing, Spotlight's having a massive sale, 30 to 70% off everything and um, there was no discount whatsoever on the miniatures and I was just like, that's not a freaking sale, I was so annoyed with Spotlight. So I haven't got a miniature anything to be able to build a bookshop, a coffee shop or anything else, so if you want to say, <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my god. Um, so no, I'm still not sucked into the whole miniature builds or anything else. But I kind of like the idea of being able to fiddle with glue and with tweezers and little fiddly things um, when I'm a bit more able to. That It would be kind of fun as a once-off. There are a couple of things. I can't even remember what the name is. Is it Robo Time or Robo something or other? Roblix? No, I don't know. Um, they're the seller of the um the miniatures like they they are an international miniature maker um this company so yeah really annoyed that it's not a discounted thing though but that seems to be the way with spotlight so i don't know if i, I marcus didn't even tell me how much he spent on the needle and floss for me so he just went and did it then he bought some speakers for the stereo in the bedroom um because the one that we have means that you've got to manually press the button on um so he's got these little tiny stereo speakers by comparison that are really really good but not the price that he wanted to pay but still a good price nonetheless what no oh, sophie's running up and down um she's started to sleep in the big bed she's actually in the loft bed so it's kind of my chest height so um I hadn't really wanted her to transition when the kid was here, but it is what it is. And if it stops her trying to sleep in with the kid, it just stops the bad habits there. So, yeah, she's enjoying that. Um, so, which means that we can dismantle a cot soon um, and make more floor space for her to play in her room. So, that'd be nice. Um, and when my back is more up to it, I'll be able to actually tidy the damn thing. There's shit and toys and ugh, drives me nuts ask the kid to tidy up and it's like a quarter of the job but anyway that's um kids for you <sighs> yeah um that's kind of it last day of the year tomorrow it is the 30th here today um i don't know if i'm going to do like a yearly roundup or 
Maybe I'll see if I can write down highlights of each month. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to think about that one. I'm um, doing a special roundup of 2020 um, and what's it, what it looks like in hindsight. Uh, that could be interesting. Um, yeah, we'll try that. I'm not going to be digging out finished things or whips or anything like that because that's just going to hurt the back too much. So you're not going to get any of that. I have seen other people starting to, you know, pull out the whip parade for 2020 and, and that kind of thing. I haven't finished many diamond paintings, to be honest. Um, I've started quite a few, but I haven't finished. Um, it kind of petered off towards the middle of the year, I think, with pain and everything else. And tiredness with work and, you know, everything. So, um, yeah. But I'm kind of glad that I've got stuck back in with the Harry Potter one. Um, that's okay. Oh, you've got the torch. Cool. Okay. <laughs> She's fascinated with torches. Bye-bye. you got flowers on your fingers. <laughs> She's a cutie. All right, I'll let you go, though, um, as you kind of wind down your week as well. Well, it's only Wednesday. Ooh, 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 Peppermint Purple is releasing tonight. I must go do that. It's like it's literally released half an hour ago. I'm going to get off this, get the video done and uploaded. Watch the end of my movie, which, what am I watching at the moment? Um, Grindelwald, Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald. Um... Yeah, I am. Um, I'm gonna go on to Peppermint Purple, see what this year's thing is, and get all excited because the borders are being released tonight. Get involved if you want to. Black work. It's so easy. Seriously, so easy, so fun, and the community in there. I think we've got twelve thousand people in the group for Peppermint Purple. It's awesome. Oh, and the other Claire that I was confusing with Claire Ardelly, Claire Bradshaw. Claire Bradshaw is the steady thread chick. The Steady Thread Botanicals, if you're interested in doing any kind of flower black work, she's cutting off the files tomorrow. If you want to get the 2020 files, you need to get in and you need to download them now. Like now, now, now. So if you're interested in that, otherwise it'll be the 2021 and I don't know if I can get involved in that. The only problem that I had with the Steady Thread was that it was a monthly release. And I lost the motivation because nobody was posting often enough to be able to say, hey, this is happening, whereas Peppermint Purple is weekly. And poor me kind of confusing both Bradshaw and Ardley, the two players, who are both black work creators. Yeah, I was all kinds of confused. So get on it. All right. I'll go. Sophie's giving me pens. Pens. Okay. Hopefully she's got some paper. Oh, okay. Thanks. Bye. She's so cheeky. She was imitating me at dinner. So I had my hand like this and she put her hand like this and she looked a hell of a lot cuter than I did. So, damn it. Two year olds. <laughs> anyway. All right. I will talk to you tomorrow and um, yeah, we'll see what the wrap up might be for the year. Toodle, see you tomorrow.